always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back well, hello, welcome to Mama From Scratch. My name is Emily and today we are going to redecorate the living room and change it up, rearrange it. I'm really excited for this. I actually got some new furniture from the Studio McGee line that launched this last week and the original chairs that I wanted were sold out within minutes, so I didn't get those. Um, I actually grabbed these other chairs that I think will look really pretty. I'm hoping the color will look fantastic. I'm a little iffy on it because I haven't seen them in person, nor have I sat in them. So I'm curious to see if they're gonna be comfortable um, and if they'll actually work in the space. So I'm really excited. It's something I've been wanting to do for a little bit of time now is to rework the space and create more seating and a little bit of cozy of a vibe. Not that the living room isn't cozy, it is cozy. It's just, I wanna rework the furniture and have a different layout. Um, this is my only living room I have to work with, so I really want to be able to kind of rearrange it from time to time and enjoy it. Um, I really love the couch that we have here now. This is actually a sectional. It was only $800, I think, $850 when we bought it a year and a half ago. It was a great deal. It's held up great. It's supremely comfortable. It's, um, it doesn't show any signs of wear and tear on it. I really like it. And there's none of those little, little ball things that come up on it. Haven't had any of those so far. Um, but it is a sectional, so I can kind of make it smaller um, or larger if I want to. Now, I have tried doing an L shape in here before with the sectional, and I didn't like it. But my idea that I want to do is I love it when I see people's designs where they have a couch, like a U shape with couches and chairs combined. And so this couch is really wide to um, be able to add a, a sofa on each side. So either I shorten this or we rework it on that side or this side. The living space is a good size, but it is deeper this way than it is wide this way, if that makes sense. So I only have about 36 inches of cabinets on this side and that size 42. It was supposed to be centered. They didn't get that right, but that's okay. So I have to work with that. And this sofa is pretty deep. Um, it's about a day bed size, which I like. Makes it super cozy, but I just want to rearrange it a little bit and see if I can work it on each side. I might have to DIY like um, some legs on it or something. Not sure yet, but I want to play with the space and redecorate it. Um, give it a little, you know, rearranging and refresh. So do you guys want to come along with me? Let me know what you guys think um, about reworking the space. Any thoughts that you have, if you have done it in your own home and stuff. I asked you guys actually on Instagram and most of you said that you liked the idea of two sofas versus just one. And um, yeah, and you guys kind of like the idea of it being on both sides and I do too, but it's a matter of it working in the space. So I'm going to get the new furniture chairs out and see if we like those. And then I got a couple other pieces that will kind of rework in the space hopefully and go from there. But I'm excited. It's super cold outside. It's snowing off and on. So it's a perfect day to rearrange and have fun inside, you know? So yeah. Um, let me get the boxes in and we'll unbox them and see if the chairs look good. You when spring comes, it's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time. Met you on a Friday, halfway out at the door of the club, playing so long the weekends. Stayed in bed till Wednesday, fell in love with your eyes. All right. Moment of truth, is it gonna look good or is it gonna be the wrong color? I'm really nervous. Um, it's kind of short, so I'm wondering if I just have to put on legs or what exactly I have to do here. I'm kind of floppy. Shall we? 
I will say the color does not look blue, which is good. I'm excited about that. You never know when you order something and what the color is actually going to look like in person. cushion and it's a cover so that's a plus and the bottom cushion is also a cover so you can wash that so that's really nice all right let's see if it's comfortable oh it's actually quite nice actually oh my goodness it's actually really it's very comfortable like your your, your arms hit the right spot and it's pretty wide to where you can actually like cozy up on it. I like this. The back is super squishy. The bottom is firm, um, but still um, squishy at the same time. So it's not uncomfortable. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. Woohoo! I was like holding my breath thinking that maybe it would be uncomfortable or something. Because you just never know. Furniture is so iffy when it comes to that. So. I originally had chairs here, those ones over there, but I just want to see what this looks like with the two chairs here. So I'm going to put the other one together really quick and we'll put it over here. I wasn't planning on getting matching chairs to this, but um, it's fairly close, but this one's a little bit more of a silvery gray, and this is probably more of a, I don't know, probably just a regular gray, if that makes any sense. Um, kind of in between with the rug as well. The fabric has a little bit of a design. Can you see that, where it kind of looks like it has the lines? Um, it's really pretty. Very, very nice. The wood is a little bit bright for me, so I'd probably tone that down, either painting it or staining it a darker color. From this angle, it looks a lot cozier already just by having the bigger chairs here. Since you can see through those chairs, I feel like they're not as substantial, plus they are quite a bit smaller than these. Um, I don't know if I like the two grays together. That might bother me, but maybe I could always upholster those, you know, redo them. And then from the entryway, this is how it looks. So not bad at all. I definitely don't like the color with my other gray couch though. I don't know what's going on here, right here. What is that? Oh, what's going on right here? Is it broken? Oh, it's broken. Oh, well that's a bummer. Is that, I don't think the other one does that. Nope, this is nice and firm. And this one is not. Well, this is the box that had the damage too, right there. Boom, big old hole in it there too. Okay, well that's a bummer. Um, so. enough room to get in through here, so... I really like the way this looks right now.
the room is longer this way, so this looks proportionate, but this way, I don't know. Let's see. If I leave it this way, if I leave it this way, it's wide enough, but then it's way too short unless I do another coffee table, which is fine, or I do maybe stools underneath the chairs. Hmm. I wasn't thinking about the coffee table part. <laughs> um, so I want to be able to get into the room from this area right here, which is right where the front door is. And I want to be able to get in over there where the back door is to the space. It's either an end table on each side of the chairs or a table in between the chairs. I don't want to overload it on tables and I don't have that much space to work with. I know it probably looks big on camera, but it's really not. I don't have any black material, but for visualization, let's just pretend the chair was dark. Ooh, I like that on the camera. Okay, let's just see here. If this was dark, this wouldn't be a very hard chair either to slip cover. I could slip cover and still have the feet show. Just gotta change the color of the wood. <laughs> I like the chair style and the comfort. I just don't like the color so much for my home with the gray couch I have now. I think if the couches were like a different color, they wouldn't, um, it wouldn't clash so much to me. But obviously I wouldn't do a pattern, but. I kind of like the dark with the fireplace and stuff. So do maybe I do um, two gray sofas and then I do two black chairs or two gray chairs and two black sofas. Hmm. I also picked this up at Target. I thought this pillow was so pretty. I believe it comes in a square style too, and it is a cover. It is, yes. Wait, they're hiding these zippers really well, which is a good thing. Um, this is really pretty. I feel like the gray in it matches my other couch better um, versus this one, but maybe I, it fits this chair really, really well as far as the size goes versus this over here on this chair is too, uh, too wide. I just realized I forgot to switch the rug around. Ugh. That's gonna be really hard to do now. <laughs> I also got this really pretty faux rosemary plant. It looks so real too. But I just thought maybe for over here, something a little bit smaller could go there. And I got this new coffee table book by Amber Interiors. Oh my goodness, her designs are just so beautiful. Oh, the amount of depth and everything in her um, ideas is just so, so pretty. I have a lot of things saved on here, but uh, I just thought this would be really pretty on the, ow, on the coffee table without it eating my hair. This beautiful clam bowl will go here. All right, so this sofa table being there does come into the walkway here. Um, so if you're visually looking down, it is in the walkway, but I still have like five feet of space in between it. So I don't think it's a bad thing that it's there. Um, but here's a visualization from this side of the room. So I still feel like it feels somewhat open having that there, but I think having a sofa over there will be much better. Sitting on this couch and watching TV is just comfortable. So I do like that um, part of it. I just, these two stacking tables that I could put there, which isn't bad. Um, I don't really like that plant in there. I think it's looking pretty good. I think we could make it fit. I, now I could put this sofa over here, but I have a floor vent over there, so I have to raise it off the floor so you know I still get heat in the room and nothing catches on fire or anything like that. So um, I'd have to fix that. But I'm thinking we do an end table here, maybe nothing here, and then maybe doing Maybe leave that open so it's a nice walk space. Obviously, some things have to be tweaked. I need to switch the rug around, which I think I'm gonna replace anyways with a different style rug, which can completely change the room as well. I need to get a really nice round table here that's a little bit shorter. I think that would work really good. I need to get either another coffee table or make another one. 
And then I need to get another sofa for over there, which I obviously I knew. And I have to decide on these chairs. Do I want to just replace the one? Um, I don't know. I don't like the color of them, but I really like the way the, the look of the chair itself. So I either have to reupholster them or I got to be on the hunt for a new chair. I really wanted swivel chairs here so that when we do have people over, they can swivel around and um, while we're entertaining in the kitchen. Um, that would be kind of nice too. So I just got to find ones that I like. It's so hard to find a chair that you like and then see if it's comfortable, you know? But everything you see in today's room, you can shop it in the description box below um, and get it for your home. You can follow me on Like Snow app. I share lots of design boards on there. Look for lesses and things that are coming up and different sales. And it's free to do. It's just like Instagram. Um, basically, you just follow me and then you can shop a picture by just tapping on the item that you like. It's really easy. Um, and I like creating different design boards and sharing ideas with you on there. But I will keep you... Um, in tune with what's gonna happen with this room. I've been looking at a couple sofas at Down East that I really, really like, but it's just a matter of them coming in stock. Hopefully you enjoyed today's little rearrange. It's to switch for the living room. I know it's not a complete makeover, but uh, I wanna share that part with you because rooms don't just come together like that. They take it to process and you sometimes just have to rework the space a little bit and tweak it here and there. And I think that's the fun part about decorating and designing a room is that um, it's a work in progress, especially as your style and your needs change. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and I hope you guys just have an amazing day. Thank you for spending part of it with me. And I will have a new video coming out for you on Saturday, not Sunday. So make sure your bell notifications on so you don't miss out on that. It'll be a fun one. We're redecorating a different part of the house and uh, refreshing it a little bit. So yep, have a beautiful day. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon.